Yo, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a spray in bed liner here on the second gen. This bed is rough, it's been used, it's scratched, dented, you name it. This thing needs some help. So to do that, we got the six quart Raptor liner kit. Comes with everything you need. Got the spray gun right here. Um, you're gonna need an air compressor to run this, by the way. Some hardener, and then the bed liner itself. So the most important part of this job is gonna be prepping the surface. We gotta scratch it up so the bed liner has something to stick to. So we have one of these detail sanders to try and do the bulk of the work with some 80 grit pads, and then just some regular 80 grit sheets to do some of the smaller areas by hand, some masking tape, and then some plastic drop cloth to put over the windows or whatever else we need to cover up. So, let's get prepping this bed. Should be fun. No, no. So I did this small section at the front of the bed here. I have a feeling we're gonna have to sand all these valleys by hand. That's gonna be fun. Um, so that's gonna be pretty time consuming. All right, I did about as much as I could with the machine, but like I said, I think all them valleys will have to be done by hand, but look what I made. This piece of wood fits perfect in there. And then I just stapled the sandpaper to it. Oh yeah. That sanding block worked really good. It didn't, it didn't really work at all. So I guess we're just gonna be doing the whole thing by hand. Well, I think I got all the sanding done. I also think I have carpal tunnel now. It's definitely doable, but very time consuming. I'm straight up not having a good time, but trust the process. Take off the tailgate. Just comes right off. So before I sand the top rail here, I'm gonna tape off. That way I don't accidentally sand into the paint that I wanna keep. So I think I'm gonna follow this body line right here and then come around, probably follow this and then right along like that. So let's mask that off. So this is what we're kind of after right here. This is just one big piece of tape to make sure it's nice and straight. And then I'll show you on this side. I put the bottom of the tape on this body line here. It's a lot sharper than the top one. So you're actually able to get a piece of tape on it. So I just line the bottom up with that line. It looks pretty nice. I got the tailgate back on there. I got everything taped up. So now I'm gonna finish the sanding before I um, use that plastic sheet to cover everything. Tailgate needs sanded and then the top of the bed rails. And I also taped, I used the lower body line for the tailgate because there's some damage and stuff here. So we'll get that and then we'll pull it outside and get spraying. Got all the sanding done. I'm gonna pull it out of the shop and wipe it down outside because it is dusty in here. Here's my seat. Nice. All right, truck's out there. Let's open up this window. What are you doing on there? <laughs> yeah. John's spraying out all the loose dust. Then we're gonna use some uh, degreaser here and then wipe it all down. Got everything wiped down with the degreaser. Now we're finishing up the masking. Gonna get everything covered up. After that, all the bare metal that's still exposed, we're gonna hit that with some primer. Got all the primer on there, all the bare metal spots. So now we're gonna go mix up the bed liner. For every one bottle of the bed liner, we need eight fluid ounces of the hardener. So we're just gonna dump it right in. And then we'll put the lid on and then shake it up for a minute or two. So this does say for professional use only. That is why I brought a bona fide professional. <laughs> he's gonna show us how, he's done a few of these before, so we're gonna let him take care of it and then blame him if it messes up. So they make it real easy. The bottles will actually thread right into the gun. And then the gun also came with a regulator. What do you got that thing set to? 45 right now. All right, 45 PSI. So it looks like we're about done. So what's the process? So I'll do the back half of the truck there. I'll do the side, the wheel well, and the whole tailgate. And I'll leave a little section by the other wheel well. Do as much of the floor as I can, and then step up in. We wanted to leave the bed on this, but normally I'll take the beds off, six bolts and some tail lights. It's not terrible. And you can put it on the ground, and then you can really reach in and get a nice, thick second coat on there. And with this product, coating is what you want. We got this nice and thick, should last years to come, looking good. 
so john is all done spraying it looks great it's a little bit colder out today probably in the 40s so we're gonna let this sit for about an hour and then peel the tape up we want it to be a little bit tacky but not all the way dry that way it doesn't chip up or nothing so we let it get a little bit tacky uh we pulled off all the plastic now we're getting all the masking tape off see how those lines came out so we are completely done got the truck back in the shop here and i am extremely happy with the results it's looking great now it's going to be probably about two hours before it's dry to the touch and then it'll be fully cured in about two weeks then you can start throwing your stolen catalytic converters in there so don't put anything in here for like two weeks but that's going to wrap it up for this one guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video consider subscribing take it easy see you in the next one